let f denote a field, and let a and n be n by n matrices with entries from f. We are going to prove that if n times a is the identity matrix, then a times n is also the identity matrix. So the proof of this relies on the following claim. The system ax equal to y has a solution for every y in fn. The claim is not true if a does not have a left inverse. And we'll postpone the proof of this claim to the end. So let's see how we can use this claim to prove our result. So take an arbitrary element y from fn. Then this claim tells us that there exists x prime in fn such that a x prime is equal to y. Now multiplying both sides on the left by n, we get n times a x prime equals n times y. And that gives us n a x prime equals n y. And since n times a is the identity matrix, that gives x prime equals to n y. So y is a x prime equals a times n y because x prime is n y. And by associativity of matrix multiplication, this is a n y. Now let d denote the product a n. Then y is same as dy. But since y is arbitrary, one can be any n tuple with entries in f. The only possibility that this can be true is when d is the identity matrix. And so a times n is the identity matrix. And that proves the result. So now we have to prove this claim. So suppose that for some y in fn, the system ax equal to y has no solution. What we do now is we row reduce the augmented matrix A Y to R D where R is in reduced row echelon form. Because A X equal to Y has no solution, there must be a row, say row I of R having all zeros such that the corresponding right hand side value D I is non zero. And because R is a square matrix, since A is a square matrix, not every column of R can be a pivot column. So there is at least one free variable. And that means that there is a non-zero tuple x tilde in N of A. But now we know that x tilde is I times x tilde. And that's N times A times x tilde. And by associativity of matrix multiplication, I can rewrite this as this. And since x tilde is in n of a, this is 0. So this is n times 0. And that's just 0, the top of n zeros. And this contradicts that x tilde is non-zero. So the assumption that there exists some y such that ax equal to y has no solution must be false. And that proves the claim.